All right, this is just a quick overview video showing uh, my progress on the uh, rocket launcher gauntlet uh, that can be worn around the uh, forearm. Uh, in this particular case, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, rocket launchers. Uh, they are mini rocket launchers. There are two rockets uh, per unit, and they're all held together um, uh, by a hinge system. Uh, so basically you would just put your arm uh, through until it uh, reaches the uh, forearm area there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart to show you um, uh, how it goes together. Uh, again, it's a, a hinge setup. So I'm going to go ahead and move the pin from this one and take it out here. And get a hold of it here. And it just comes out just like that. Okay and set that aside all right so this is the best or the master rocket launcher uh, everything that is going to be uh, created 3d by 3d uh, will be just like this these other ones were just set up uh, previous they're kind of uh, uh, pre um, working ones but uh, each one was changed in some way so they're no longer uh, usable but I needed to see what it was like uh, to hook them together uh, with the uh, hinge uh, uh, setup. The way it works in this case there's no motor or anything involved. Um, this particular uh, setup that I'm doing here will be using uh, some sort of cabling uh, uh, but in this case I'm using fishing line uh, it's fairly strong, durable, and small uh, gauge. And the way it will work is each one of the rocket launchers will have its own uh, wire set up and then all tied together into one, and which will pull uh, all of the rocket launchers out uh, when the time comes. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the parts just so you can see how it works. Um, so basically, I'm going to go ahead and remove the door. So this is the door uh, that has a spring-loaded uh, setup on it there. And you can see the rockets are in place. And my motion is, uh, it seats itself there, pops open when the string is pulled. And the way it works is the string runs around this little pulley right here, goes around the back side through a channel, kind of a tunnel channel right there, and out the back right here. So when I pull to the back, it uh, pulls up the rocket and returns. The spring return for this is located behind or under this little door here. This is a little access plate panel, and you can see the little spring set up there. And that's uh, basically how it works. So again, all the parts fit together uh, just like this. I line it up, press it down like that. Okay, so that locks in. I take the spring, put it in its little pocket right there, just like that. Place it down in here into another little spot. It kind of locks in place on the inside. I attach the pin, just like that. And this little piece right here uh, holds the... Uh, kind of the axle pin in place. There'll be another one placed on the other side right there. But uh, as you can see, right there, and I push the little button there. You can test the spring load, check if you've got rockets, see if they're loaded. Just like that. So this again will be reproduced uh, one, two, three, four, five more times. So they're all identical. And then we'll go ahead and go for the, uh, the big test on the wrist and everything. All right, there you are. Thank you for watching. And also it works upside down too. Okay, because that was the issue there is that uh, it, uh, the gravity, I can get it on camera here, uh, was holding the door open and everything. So not only will it work on its side, work standing up like that, but It'll also work upside down. All right. Thank you for watching.